Finally tonight, a new study suggests staggering numbers of American children are now taking care of the adults who are supposed to be taking care of them. More than one million young people between the ages of 8 and 18 are tending to sick or disabled adults at home. And as ABC's Jeff Morrell reports, many keep it a secret out of fear of being split up. Stay with the like most high school seniors, Francis Arthur has a lot on his plate. Schoolwork, basketball practice, and a part-time job. But on top of all that, he also cooks, cleans, and cares for his ailing grandparents. One with diabetes, the other dementia. Sometimes I'd be tired, so tired, I, like, I can't even concentrate in class. You have a lot of responsibility for a young man. I said I had a lot of responsibility since I was like since I was born. Francis is part of a hidden problem in this country. A new study, the first ever in the U.S., reveals that nearly a million and a half kids nationwide care for sick or disabled relatives. Most people in the U.S. would be oblivious to this, and that's not just the general public. That's policymakers, that's Congress, that's uh, doctors in the health care system. While there is some support for the 44 million adult caregivers in this country, Children doing the same thing are pretty much on their own. Let's do your medication, okay? 27 year old Maggie Ornstein has been taking care of her mother since she suffered a brain aneurysm a decade ago. At a point when I would have been normally breaking away from my family, my mom became like a child of mine. Do you have keys? Are you sure? Some, like Maggie, still thrive with all that responsibility, but British researchers who have been studying this for years say it takes a toll on most. They may become depressed, they may develop emotional difficulties, they may develop health problems. I mean, do you feel like you've missed your childhood? I miss a lot of my childhood, a lot. Francis Arthur has had to grow up fast, but he's not bitter about it. He doesn't have time to be. In addition to everything else, he's studying for college. He hopes to become a professional nurse Ready? Yeah. so he can care for even more people in need. Jeff Morrell, ABC News, Rockledge, Florida.